Yo, what up Street Togs, Eric Kim. So, the turbo thought of the day is about culture. So, like my best friend the Migo said, culture! So, I find the notion of culture very interesting because it's, you know, ironically enough, I study sociology and we never actually talked about culture that much. We always talked about society and societal norms and so forth. I think generally speaking, anthropologists talk more about culture, maybe not so much sociologists, and I wanted to just share some of my thoughts on culture. So first and foremost, I think culture is everything. So, and also, you know, all cultures are subjective. I mean, there are certain preferences I have with cultures and certain cultures I consider uh, superior. And I think there is, to me, a hierarchy of culture, like the ancient Greek culture being on top. But, you know, that's just my perspective, that's just my opinion, and my opinion doesn't and shouldn't extrapolate to everybody. And so, I think just thinking about ourselves and our lives then, I don't think we should, nor should we superimpose our own cultural beliefs on other people, and we should actually be, you know, open-minded to other people's cultures, we should be maximally tolerant towards the cultures of others, and we should just kind of, for the most part, like kind of like leave other people alone. So I think the biggest problem is when we try to force our cultures upon other people, I think the problem is when we try to think that everyone should obey our culture, that's kind of stupid. My thought is, let's just, um, you know, just put our own culture out there and share what we consider great and just kind of like tell people, you know, just kind of take it or leave it. So I just kind of like this philosophy because, you know, even with, you know, my blog, my YouTube, you know, wherever I create, it's just my opinion, right? And I'm not saying that you should follow it or not. I'm just like, oh, I'm just putting it out there, take it or leave it. And this is also why I like tips. Tips is just kind of take it or leave it. You don't want to be, you know, cramming your own philosophies down nobody else's throat. That's not nice. All right, so with culture, it's interesting because in today's free society, you have the power to dictate and determine which cultures you want to follow and how do you want to remix the cultures, whatever. And also, what kind of cultures do you want to create? And also, I kind of like the notion of culture being like, the notion of like cultivating to create, like even you can make a yogurt culture or a kefir culture, like what Cindy's been doing. So I think she's even using it as a verb, like culturing, like even making kimchi or stuff like that. You're like making a culture and a culture is this living organism which feeds on sugars and stuff like that and grows. It's actually quite interesting. And so similarly, we as individuals, we can create our own cultures and share our cultures with others. Now, I think the biggest problem about, you know, a lot of things in society is when we try to, you know, enforce our own cultures and to become intolerant towards the cultures of others. So for example, I think, you know, for me the ideal society should let everyone practice whatever religion they want, believe what they want to do, and not force people to do what they don't want to do. So maximal autonomy over the individual, and also just like, um, you know, kind of this like, uh, Nassim Taleb calls it the deontic libertarianism. Deontic meaning like duties based, meaning you're not just like a total, you know, degenerate slob who's just entirely selfish. You know, you still give back to society and others based on a sense of duty. And libertarianism, libertarian, lib, liber meaning free man. So essentially somebody who's not, you know, a slave and stuff like that. So somebody who could say what's on their mind, whatever like that without risk of imprisonment, granted that their speech... You know, even like, I think it's okay for people to do hate speech. Hate just means strong emotions. But what I think people should not do is incite violence on others or use or be violent towards other humans in, you know, whatever they believe in. So violence should not be permitted to other people, but speech which encourages others to be violent towards others should not be tolerated and that should actually be 
kind of clamped down by the law. But anyways, so these are just like some of my thoughts. And so when it comes to the culture or cultures, whatever, I think a lot of us tend to be slaves to the culture. The man created culture, culture wasn't created for man. It's kind of like what Jesus said, right? Like the man, the Sabbath is for man, the man is not for Sabbath, meaning we should just try to strive to optimize what's best for us rather than thinking what others think should be best for us. And like, and this is also the problem too, is that once we start to worship some sort of law or custom or anything over our individual preferences, I think we kind of become a little bit enslaved. And also it's, that's why it's so important to challenge conventions, challenge traditional modes of thinking and thought and stuff like that. And essentially for us to form our own independent opinions and to share them with others. Like even what Jesus said, you know, if you have a light or a candle, don't hide it under a bushel. The point of a, a light or a candle is to share your light with others. So whatever insights, enlightenment you got, just kind of share that with others. And once again, obviously it's all just your opinion and no one could no one could disqualify your opinion because, you know, and it's, it's even tr tricky too because people are like, oh, your opinion is not factual. But if you think about really, really, really deeply the philosophy of science and falsification from Karl Popper, you can never, even with facts, prove anything. You could only disprove things. And even so, there tends to be a lot of caveats and stuff like that. So my basic notion is, you know, unless you're talking like pure science or mathematics or physics, if you're just talking about your thoughts on humanity, art, creation, whatever, when it comes to words, thoughts, beliefs, and stuff like that, we probably shouldn't invoke notions of like facts or stuff like that. It should, we should just be much more clear that it's just our opinion. And to opinion means to just think, and also to speak, to be a prophet means to just profess, to, to literally to speak. And so ultimately there's no right or wrong, there's no true or false, there's no good or evil. It's all just subjective. Heraclitus is probably the best philosopher to study this. But yeah, once again, when it comes to culture, it's, this is why you know I think it's really good to travel to experience other cultures and other modes of thinking as a way for you to challenge your own culture and your own thinking. And actually just some of my takeaways is just like, my biggest benefit I got from traveling is after traveling, going abroad and being so many other places, I actually have decided that for me, American culture is the best culture for me. And I consider the least bad culture in the world because I, I love America because we, you know, prioritize our our individualism and stuff like that. And you know, truth be told, hum uh, you know, Americans were still more utilitarian. We still have lots of like Protestant morality and ethics in us. And so we're not 100%, you know, truly free spirited or free thinking, whatever. But still like, it's the least enslaved society, I think, in the world, at least right now. But anyways, um, so, challenge your beliefs, challenge your conventional wisdom, and always kind of be skeptical and sus of other people, their morals and things like that. Also be skeptical and sus of yourself, but ultimately my suggestion is create your own culture for yourself, pick and choose what you like, and have the courage to exert it.